from Krima Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Bearings and Power Transmission Products Distributor, Bearings International, has launched a new bearing solution for demanding applications. Natasha Widendahl tells us more. Bearings International has introduced a new Rexner bearing solution for demanding applications in industries such as cement, fertilizer, power generation, steel, aggregates, mining and mineral processing. The RN series has a misalignment capability of a full 2 degrees, a two-piece outer race and higher radial and axial load capability, with a larger roller design and seals for improved bearing life and easy fitment and removal from the shaft, owing to a Sherlock adapter mounting. The new Rexnet RN series of metric bearings offers ease of use, performance and durability, and as a drop-in replacement for existing SN500 bearings, Customer benefits include efficiency and productivity, reduced downtime, and a lower total cost of ownership. The Rexnord RN series, okay, as a unit, is a solid block. It is factory sealed, clearances are preset and pre greased. Rexnord basically is very corona bearings over the last hundred years. Over time, they've developed, they've been innovated, but all the time, they actually and still retain the ownership of being the only. Bearing manufacturer of a spherical roller bearing with a split outer race. Now, there's fundamental advantages from the split outer race. We are not governed by certain diameters or envelope dimensions. So, in the process of development, we've increased our angle of contact, which increases our axial load carrying capacity. Why? Because we've managed to actually increase our roller diameter length and geometry. We also have superior seating that remains positive at all times when this misalignment occurs. And just to give people an idea of the actual millimeter difference in misalignment, if you have a river length of 30 centimeters, 300 millimeters, the amount of misalignment in actual inches or in millimeters that our bearings can accommodate for is 10.2 millimeter versus any other house unit that would offer 5.1 and the conventional SN500 series at 2.1 millimeters, if I can put it that way. And at all times, the bearing remains operational, the seals remain functional, and we get that radial combination load together with axial that is way, way an industry leader compared to the rest. The seal itself obviously never makes contact with the shaft. It runs on the outside diameter of the inner ring. We also offer a purgeable range of seals. And inside saying that is that grease in, when you get the centrifugal force of the bearing taking place, it wants to fill grease out of outwards. And at the same time, that grease then purges through the sealing mechanism and flushes the bearings of contaminants. That's been a secret for many, many years of the Rexnord lift off type sealing arrangements. Just to hint on that, obviously, you've got the lavin seal and we'll have the heavy duty contact seals coming into market, even the vital range for the higher temperature application. So we believe as a manufacturer, we've improved in all departments, mm -hmm. from our radio load carrying capacity, from our missile alignment capability, and from our sealing fundamentals. And if you take the leading cause in favor today uh, of bearings, it's most probably 47% hinge from contamination. We believe that misalignment plays a part of the seal's function. So we can improve misalignment and give you a seal that is actually capable of absorbing that misalignment together with the roller, you have to have a win. Hypothetically, let's say on a SN520 200mm, we did it years ago and we timed it on uh, installation at high felt steel there. And per bearing, per handbook, took roughly 45 minutes to actually assemble correctly. Mm. So per bearing, you're talking one, one and a three quarter hour times two. Mm. So if we can actually cut it down to f 15 minutes per bearing, mm. And if it were on a conveyor application and you wanted your output to be higher, because production is key. If you don't have product coming out the other end, mm. <laughs> you're not in production at a profit. Mm. So we want to actually cut down that staying time mm. and we want to increase your operational time. Okay. And that we can achieve purely because we take care of all the assembly ahead of the actual physical fitment of the bearing to the shop. Bearings International will offer the new RN series throughout its extensive branch network with access to backup from the company's technical department in conjunction with Rexnet South Africa. Our target market would be to replace conventional SN500 series units where obviously in the part there's always been a problem to actually have a full metric offering to that, to that particular market.
That's Karima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter. Thank <laughs> you.